Hi, I'm Rachel Gregory, and welcome to the ISA Keynote Speaker Series. Today, I'm speaking with Greg Fagnan, CEO of Blue Marble AI. Greg, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Greg. Now, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what we can expect from your session? I have a, a passion for operations and everything operations from technology to risk to process and to overall continuous improvement. I currently lead a company here in Calgary, Alberta, Blue Marble AI, which focuses entirely on providing machine learning opportunities and insight to industrial operators throughout North America. I do plan on speaking to how I believe AI is going to be instrumental in a particular area of industrial operations. That area is solely focused around how I believe AI can help reduce risk and, and risk exposure and produce insight and expose blind spots for industrial operators. Greg, in your experience, how are companies utilizing AI to better prepare for the energy transition? When I think 10 to 20 years from now, I believe we'll look back on the energy transformation, how we changed how energy was produced and consumed. We're not going to transition off energy. In fact, we're going to demand significantly more energy in the future than we do today. As far as current state utilization, some common applications that I've seen in AI and industrial operations are around computer vision in the analysis of say physical samples. Another one is the advanced analytical world that soft sensors play in where physical instrumentation is not in place or where a niche sensor really isn't available on the market. Another one is knowledge graphs for early detection and warning of abnormal situations where a lot of data needs to be overlaid and contextualized. When it comes to preparedness, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on AI. It's one of the reasons I lead a software company focused on applying AI solutions for industrial operators. Whether it's using artificial neural networks to find previously unknown hydrocarbon reserves or using unsupervised learning to develop the best extraction methods, using anomaly detection measurement and verification models to operate facilities facilities in the most economic and energy efficient way possible, or perhaps using reinforcement learning to define the best recipes for refinery uses to upscale carbon dioxide into useful and in-demand products. What are the key takeaways attendees will leave your session with? I do think operations is all about risk management. Almost everything performed in or in service to the operating function is done to prevent things that go bump in the night and resulting abnormal situations. I believe the utility and data has created an incredible amount of value. I also believe that creating value alone does absolutely nothing. I think teams involved in any sort of digital transformation need to appreciate this distinction between create versus capture. Sensors, edge devices, ETL, data lakes, cool interfaces, I could go on and on, create value. They are expensive investments that provide a negative return. Generating a positive return turn where this is where the capturing comes into play occurs only when insight is actioned and improvements are made to administrative or physical processes. And perhaps the most important in the near term is that AI is the technology that will underpin the game changer capability for industrial operations. How do AI solutions help companies to get ahead of the trends? And in your opinion, what do you think the next trend in industrial operations will be here in Alberta? One example that I'll build on at the ISA show is, is real-time design-based assurance. Currently, every industrial facility goes through a rigorous design phase. Processes like LOPA and HAZOP do their best to identify and mitigate risk. Outputs from these processes take on the shape of controls whether they're engineered, regulatory, or administrative in nature. Once a facility is operational, what is often taken for granted is how effective such controls are. Contextualized AI does a great job providing assurance that what was designed to happen actually does and can. There's probably a dozen operating integrity use cases for AI. I also believe AI helps industrial operators expose blind spots. Today, there's so much data created in facilities. Complementing facility data with enterprise and even going further externally supplemented data can generate some pretty insightful stuff. I think there'll be two trends for AI and industrial operations. Models will see a disproportionate amount of their training come from subject matter experts and less from data scientists. The result will be faster uptick in the application of AI. I would love to see a change in how we think about who's in the best position to lead the application of AI in industrial operations. I think now is the time OT professionals should be pushing their way to the front of the decision-making line. Thanks, Greg. It was great chatting with you today, and we look forward to seeing you speak at ISA this spring. 
Thanks very much, Rachel, and I'm looking forward to May. Thank you for watching the ISA keynote speaker series. We would love to see you as a delegate at the ISA Calgary conference. Be sure to use the code RACHEL10 and you will get 10% off your conference pass. See you there. Thank you.